ground into. We have a, a concept here, sets. And I give this one small example, universal. It has some members, one, two, three, two, eight. And we have a member A. A set A is a four members, a set B, three, four, and this one. So situation is here, we have this called universal set. And this is called union. This, it means common and uncommon. This is stand for intersection. It means common. So let's start two examples, A part. If I want to do A union B, as mentioned, common and uncommon. So common are three and common are four. So I will take four and three one time. And which are uncommon, I will take as well. So it means answer is one, two, three, four. So let's go for A intersection B. It means the common between A B, so it means only three and four. Similarly, if someone asks us how to find B union C, B union C. So union means very clear, common and uncommon. So common members and uncommon members. So three, we can see here four is common only and three is not common. So three, four, five, and six. So take all members which common and common all together. Now I'm shifting on D part. D part is how many members, and N stand for number of members, in A set, A set, count. One, two, three, four, we have a four. Similarly, if I ask you, what is a number of member of universal? Count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so eight answer. Or something, what is a number of members of C? So C has one, two, three members, so that's simple. Similarly, let's go for the complement. So complement stand for, complement's definition is from universal, leave all those members which are present in A. You can see definition, take all members except the members of A. So it means, let's start. Is this present in A? Yes, don't take it. Is this present in A? 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 No, so take it. Five. This six is not present, so take it. And seven and eight. This is called A complement. If someone asks what is B complement, so from universal subtract B. So from universal, I will not to take those members which present B. For example, is this one present B? No. So take it. Is this two present in B? No. So take it. Is this three present? Yes, present. So don't take it. Is four present in B? Don't take it. And rest all not present, so take all. This is called complement. This is called complement. After this, let's go for a true and false idea. True and false. Here, true and false. So true and false concept comes here. So this is a sign for, for belongs to. It deals belongs to. It deals one member with a set. So it means this is the most important thing, one member, okay? So one member, for example, if I say, if I say three belongs to B. So let's see, is this three belongs to B? Here three present or not present? Yes, it's present, you can say it's a true. But if I say five belongs to B, check if five present here, not present here. So I can say the false. So similarly, so this is the way. So this is the part number, uh, you can say E, F, G, H, I, J, and now K part. Okay. So let's talk about the subset concept. It deals set with set. It deals element with set, with deal set with set. So for example, I give an idea. So is B members 3, 4 present in C or not? Let's see. B is a subset of C. So it means that all members of B present in C. So let's see. Is the 3 present here? No, this is a false. False. But can I say B is a subset of A? Let's find it. So let's check. Is 3 present? Yes, present. Is 4 present? Yes, present. So all members of B present in A. So this is a true. This is a true. So then let's go now next one. Can I say A is a subset of A? Let's find. 
It means all members of A present in B. So let's find. It means all members are present in B, but no, 1 and 2 is present here, but not present here. So the false. So this is a way to check is this one. So this is a whole story. Okay, now if I want to do a Venn diagram, Venn diagram, okay? So we can see here, because uh, all members of B present in A, so we can, this circle will go in a circle of A. Example like this, A, and B is here, and 3, 4. Why I write 3, 4 here? Because all members present in B. But it has some extra members, 1 and 2. So before we start, check is some common between AC? Yes, we have common. And common are 4 and 5. It means I will make one circle here. You see and write here. What common between them? 4. So write 4 here. After this, but you can see this 4 present here also. So rub this 4 and make this circle in such a way which intersect like this. Now it is true. Okay. Now you can see here. How many members of A? 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 4, the work. Where is 1, 2? Write 1 here, 2 here. And what about C members? C members are 4, 5, 6. 4 is covered already and 5, 6 will come up here. Okay. And now C. A all covered? Yes, covered. B covered? Yes, covered. C covered. And N, just see the universal set. 1 covered? Yes, covered. What about 2? Yes, covered. What about 3? Covered. What about 4? Covered. 5, 6, all done, but 7, 8 not covered, so right outside. This is called Venn diagram. Venn diagram. Okay, this is enough for the day. So wrong.